update guys a little bit of car chronicles my um tripod thing is messing up so i'm gonna try to hurry up because if i hit a bump y'all gonna fall um so i'm leaving the nail place we are in june so some of my recordings that you see i have to edit and everything so you see them a little late you'll probably see this in june but yes we are done i don't have any ideas for today so i'll probably be looking at ideas on my break and stuff at work coming up with something seeing what i want to do um coming up with ideas the last two times as y'all know was very bright very flashy very busy um i don't know if i want to go a little simple keep it busy i like the busy the most i find that when i do simple when i just do simple simple i don't like them i don't like them um i also found this time that me doing maintenance in between allowed me to go a little bit longer so the longer my nails have been getting i've been noticing that three weeks is pushing it like i can do three weeks but three weeks is pushing it and what i mean if you don't know i type all day so when it's time for maintenance or feel i can feel it especially typing so when i go three weeks sometimes they feel a little weak and I, I don't like that feeling like i don't like that feeling when i'm cleaning like contrary to popular belief and i really don't mentally know what's wrong with people nails or no nails you have to wipe your behind okay jesus you have to clean you have to cook well you don't have to some people probably have somebody that do that for them i don't yet if you want to apply to do it for me including wiping my butt feel free if you're concerned with how i wipe you need to apply to do that for me okay um but i have to work clean cook do other things do my hair do my makeup i can feel and i don't know how to explain it if you're a nail person you'll understand i can feel when they're getting weak and i don't like that feeling i can feel when i need maintenance but i noticed this time that me doing a little bit of maintenance in between i was in there so i'm gonna do it again i'm gonna do it again and all I did was one week out, I took the Modelone's nail glue, or you can even use rhinestone glue. I find that these rhinestone glues and these glues that are meant to hold, they good for maintenance. I done figured it out. I put that around the cuticle area and cured it a week and a half out or a week out, and that allowed me to really feel secure <clears throat> and the rest of the time that I had available even by the time I went to her today I felt like dang secure so I'm gonna do it again and see and if y'all don't understand what I'm saying let me know and then in the next one I'll show y'all or do it on camera very simple um also she's going on vacation in July and August for three weeks so I was like okay who in here can do my nails because I don't like to go three weeks because like I said, I feel like I need a lot of maintenance by the end and whatever. And I was like, well, I don't want to do them and mess them up and you come back and say, what did I do? Cause, so she was like, oh, um, I think there's two people in here that can probably do it. But when she asked them, they said that they couldn't do it because my nails was too long. Now, this is no judgment, no shade, no tea to anybody. I don't want nobody messing up my nails. So I respect the game. If you can do nails, you can do nails. Am I wrong? Nail text, holla back. What I mean by that is, yeah, it may take too long. Yeah, you may have to use more acrylic. Yeah, but I just feel like, like one of the girls in there, I've seen her do long nails before. And not as long as mine, but I've seen her do long nails. And she's been doing nails for over 10 years. So I just don't understand. You put near, putting a primer on, you drilling it down, you putting the acrylic on, you filing them, you shaping them. Now, maybe they're not secure and filing or shaping long nails i mean if you can do a feel you can do a feel if you can do a feel on short nub nails if you can do a feel on medium nails if you can do a feel on long nails or xl nails which sometimes they call like a double tip i've seen them do a double tip in there and the double tip may not be as long as mine but it's long but if you can do a feel you could do a feel i mean I don't want nobody coming for me where I got to cuss you out, but let's talk about it. 
I mean, what do y'all think? Am I thinking about this wrong? And I'm talking to Nail Text. Is it time consuming? Do they not want to waste the time? Maybe. Maybe they're fearful and they just don't want to mess it up. Fear holds a lot of us back. I respect it. You know what I'm saying? But she said that the two people she thought could do it said they too long. They don't think they can do it. Y'all got to put more faith in yourself. Like, stop trying to figure out. Stop saying I could never wear my nail. I went in, you know, I went in the Dollar Tree and this lady was like, oh, I could never do it. I said, yes, you can. I've been a cashier. Don't tell me you can't cashier with long nails. I said, yes, you can. You got to stop doubting yourself. Stop saying what you can. Oh, I could never work work with them nails. Why? I don't work at the mall, J.C. Penney, Macy's, food restaurants. I don't work in offices. I don't work in like kind of like if y'all been following me for years when I worked for the city and I had to do boxes and stuff. So in a warehouse setting, why you can't work? Why you can't work? Because you might break one. Yeah, I did. And I learned not to break one again, too. I told this one lady that. She was like, yeah, yeah. After you break one, you won't break it again. You will figure out how to do that job without breaking the nails. But and it's not for everybody. I'm not trying to force this on everybody. But I'm just saying, y'all doubt yourself and belittle yourself for something y'all never even tried. Like... Oh, I could never. Why? Why? Who raised you? Who told you that? Or is that the first thing that come to your mind? And my mom used to say, think about what you're saying before you say it. Why are you saying the first thing that come out your mouth? So anyways, whew, back to the subject. So I just feel like they don't want to do them because they long and they take a lot of time. I don't feel like it's that they can't do long. I meant to get on the highway. I don't think that it's just that they can't do long nails. I just feel like it's just going to take a long time. <sighs> y'all people on motorcycles, see when y'all get squished, everybody think it's a problem. But people on motorcycles, y'all do the stupidest crap. Anyway. Because I feel like if you've been doing now, if you never did long nails before, you may be a little intimidated. But I've seen both of these people that she thought could do my nails do long nails. And I mean like long tips or the, I've seen it. <laughs> but if they doubt in themselves, cool. It is what it is. Like I told her, if I have to maintenance them, I have to maintenance them. And when you come back, you just have to do whatever. Don't be mad. So she was like, okay. Da, 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 da. She was like come to me right before I go on vacation and that way because she gone for three weeks so if I go to her like right before she leave you know then you know maybe I can go you know come to her as soon as she get back so we did her calendar I did my appointments for the rest of June I did my appointments for July and we figured out you know August um so you know but even with her, I feel like she has a limit. She did ask me if I want to cut them this time. Um, I feel like she has a limit. And I am prepared to... Come on, come on, baby, on this motorcycle. Act right. I am prepared to do my nails if I have to. I just actually love the luxury of going to get them done. But if they get too long for her... Or whatever um I'll do it. um I who was I who I forgot who I was going to before cuz I've had them longer than this I've had them longer than this but the girl I was going to before I don't remember which girl it was I don't think she does nails anymore cuz the girl I was going to down here before I was going to her before I moved to Georgia and then when I came back from Georgia she wasn't doing them anymore but anyway, if I got to do them, I do them. I did them doing the big C word. If I got to do them, I do them. It is what it is. Um, I want, I'm want. i at three, three and a half, and I'm comfortable with that. I My goal is four. Um, I'm going to try to creep up to four as long as she don't complain or say nothing. If not, I am okay where they are um, with her doing them. 
but I understand like people people look at them and they're like oh my god like even nail takes they just don't want to take the time that's just the bottom line they don't want to take the time it takes to do them and it is more acrylic more maintenance more filing it is I understand that um you have to love your job to do extra long nails um I wish I could find someone that just special like Maria. Y'all don't know Maria. Maria was on the news. Maria was on everything. If y'all um, look on YouTube, Maria the Nail Goddess or whatever. I mean, 13 inches. I mean, the girl's nails, she do are like 10, 13 inches long. She do people that are in the Guinness Book of World Records and everything. But I wish I could find a shop like that. And if y'all know a shop like that in South Florida or Palm Beach County, that just specializes in long nails like everybody that goes there y'all tag me or send it to me even if you think it's close to me y'all tag me or send it to me because if i could find somebody that just does that or specializes in that i would just deal with them you know like no shade no tea you know what i'm walking in with you know what i'm coming in with you know what i like and this is what you do and that's what you do and that's what we do and that's how we do it you know what i'm saying like you got girls that only do natural hair and they good with natural hair and they do natural hair. So whatever you come in with with that natural hair, they know they doing natural hair. You know what I'm saying? And then you got girls that only do weave styles. They don't know how to do natural hair. They haven't fooled with natural hair. They don't want your hair to fall out. They don't know how to do natural uh, 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 natural hair. They only do weave. They only do whatever. You know what I'm saying? Respect. So if I could find somebody that, if y'all know a shop, just tag me. I'll see if it's near me. But a shop that just specializes in that's all they do. Everybody that go to them, or most of the people that go to them, are um, long nail techs. Tag, share my video. Tag it. Add some of these nail techs. You know? Because, yeah. You know? Somebody around here is shaking something. Because South Florida too big. You feel me? Even the Georgia area. Tag a sister. Hit me up. Tag me share my video send it to them send a page to me so i can find out what they do how they do it or whatever but here are the girls no polish no nothing just fairness i'm gonna think of something all day i'm gonna go home and do them and i will be back to y'all after work okay hey guys i am under the lamp and doing some work i know y'all probably can't see really clearly um due to the light but I am in the lab, so let me turn the camera around. Give me one second. All right, so I got the camera turned around. Maybe y'all can see it a little bit better, but of course the um, LED light kind of blocks it out. Here I am in the lab. Here is all the things that I am using. I've already put some of the polishes up because I'm on my left hand. Um, these are all my charms. My charm game is coming up, y'all, so I got to use these charms. Here is my polish rack getting kind of full. Um, yeah, so I'm just figuring out something. Like I said, I didn't have an idea for what I wanted to do. So I just kind of winged it. Um, and I am happy with them. I like them. I kind of went glittery. And so, you know, glitter always makes me happy. So yeah, here is my blinged out lamp. Thanks to a beautiful, lovely subscriber that thought of me. Thank you so much. Lots of love to you. And these are the Chameleon chameleon polishes that i use so i'll come in closer at the end so y'all can see so i'm going to take this one from under the lamp and i'm really trying to get the bow to dry i really like to do my bow a lot of times to make sure my bow dries because the bow can get snagged on a lot of things um you never know what the bow can get snagged on but here are the nails here they are and like I said, I used a lot of the Chameleon polishes and a lot of glitter polishes from Modelones. The Chameleon is on the pinky. And I'm going to show y'all in the end. I'm showing it to you guys with and without flash. But the Chameleons is on the pinky. And I'll show y'all in the end how it kind of goes back and forth with the color. I'm not sure if it's a mood polish or what it is. But yeah, super excited. I love these. We are in the month of June. So I didn't have anything special to do. I forgot about Juneteenth. But I do think that I have one more time to go back before Juneteenth actually comes. So I might need to get my colors together for that. And I'm just showing you guys the bling on this polish with and without flash. 
I do like how this set turned out. I like how it looks on the outside in the sun when the bling hits the stones. Now, normally I do silver stones, but I had gold stones. And you can't tell with this, but the glitter underneath the nails with the stones is gold. It's not silver. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the flash on, but the reflective glitter polish underneath the stones is gold. So when you see it in person, it is gold on top of gold. Um, even though in here I know it looks like gold on top of silver. I'm starting to think that the nail with the bow, I probably should have put some stones going all the way down to the end. What do y'all think? I won't do it now because it's done. But next time, do y'all think I should have put stones going down from the bow to the end of the nail? Let me know. So these are the chameleon, they call them, chameleon polishes I use. And here is, get my finger right, this one. And I don't know if it's supposed to be mood changing or color changing. I've noticed it changing a little bit down to the bottom. And here's the blue one. Um, in the previous video that y'all seen, it was the more silver. Now you see it's the more blue. So I'm not sure if that's coming from my mood or if it just changes colors. Um, if you look back some in the previous video, the pink was a little bit more of the lighter pink color. And now it's more of the darker pink color. So these do change. The chameleon polishes, they do change depending on, I guess, how you look at them, how the sun reflects, and your mood. And those are by Modelones.